Oh wait, seventh try. They've had like four restarts so far in the first game. Lux had gotten himself into perfect position for his team and they had apparently he dropped or crashed and they have to had to restore. Which is very unfortunate for them because they were looking really good. But it is what it is. Um, it's a uh, White Wolf Palace against AM. Thousand dollar best of five show match. Where's the scoreboard gone? I do not know. Probably because I put it away. <laughs> My bad. There we go. All right. Um, White Wolf pals against uh, AM. We have Yoas in the pocket position playing as Cumans. Vivian in the other pocket playing as the Burmese. Lux playing as Goth. And Paladin playing as Mines. This game, the sides are switched, uh, switched as well, which is also something that's unfortunate with the restart. To give a recap, the first game, Lux got behind Hera's base, and he got he lamed an elephant. He, like he, um, oh, what is happening here? He's actually stealing it, because he sees the scout chasing, so he's actually stealing it instead. But that's gonna be very bad for them, because Heart might intercept this. Yeah, this is definitely already looking way worse for White Wolf Palace. He killed villagers from Hera. Hera was in a disaster situation. And now, due to the restart, suddenly um, the positions are switched and uh, the start is looking way worse for Lux already. Although he sent the second villager forward, he lost one villager. Second villager is now forward. It's also going to be spotted, by the way. So this is really already... Oh, he lost the, he lost the scout. Like... Uh, I feel bad for them because... They were in such a good spot in the previous one. Oh, he got, he got it. He could run, he could run. Oh, no, the villager will kill it, though. Well, actually, some extra damage on the scout. But yeah, disaster. Uh, feels bad for them. To finish off, Nico playing as Chinese on the flank with the heart pocket as Franks. Other pocket is Leary as Magyars. And then Hera playing as the Mines on the bottom side. Uh, Paladin is stealing a boar from Hera as well. This one looks like it should be a success. Another hit. They're taking a lot of boar hits here. Never feel bad for Lix. I feel bad for them because the previous game, they did the same th Like, he did the same thing and he got so much value out of it. And this game has just been a complete disaster for him. You're even sending a third villager. What? This guy. <laughs> what a guy. This eagle should die, but he should still get the boar if he sends a villager right away. He needs to send the villager. The boar might go back immediately. Oh, he might. He actually gonna save the gonna save the eagle even. Good for him. Lost one uh, one goat though to Hera's eagle. Good job there. Eat it. So walling in the gold is Lux. Obviously the elephant was lamed, which is actually quite huge against a Chinese player. But then again, Lux lost his scout. He lost the villager. Probably not worth it still. Do you watch? Um, Netflix. I'm not sure what that is. Hype it for one minute. I'm not a hype caster, man. Scourge Armor. Think of the two months. Do you know of any good and difficult co-op multiplayer campaign scenarios? I, I don't. I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Vivi is already moving to gold. He's going to go for the Rambai approach with the Burmese pocket that we have seen lately. Does Hera not know about his boar? Oh, he doesn't know about his boar. He's actually... Hera actually has zero boars at the moment. Why doesn't hotkeys work? Alt F to fog of war. That's annoying. Hera actually doesn't know about his boar. Feels Hera, man. So he's doing a rush now. But he's, he's about to be have seven idle villagers under his town center. Which is quite ugly. There's the barracks. Three villagers forward! This is the f he has sent four villages forward here. What what is Lix man? I tell you, Hera will obviously find the, the elephant, but it's very, very late. Did you give up on capture age for now? I think capture age is not suited for four force. That's kind of why we're not we're not doing it. Capture age is um, suited for low number games. 
Uh, I might play with the cyclist again in the future. Both, both of that, both Eve and Tim. So Eve Lampert and Tim the cleric, professional cyclist for the cleric quick step. The, club, the cleric <laughs> for quick step. Uh, the cynic, the cynic quick step. I think they're called. And they both played both the qualifiers for Red Bull. So they're still playing. We play with Stucker 2 Pros again. What do you mean? So he's getting the gold walled in, the main the main gold, main stone. He does have a stone in the back, he does have gold to the side, but uh, this gold will surely get walled in as well, I reckon. Actually, Lux doesn't see it. Nico opting for this gold, makes sense. <laughs> no one likes to play against this. Do you think you could mimic Lux's playstyle and succeed? I don't want to mimic it because I don't think it's a good playstyle. Like what he has done so far this game has put himself so far behind the others that in theory he is throwing the game for his team. In theory. But the issue with Lux is that we never, after the first and second wave doesn't get value, he always sends a third wave, and then suddenly that third wave gets value. And that's kind of where a lot of people struggle with Lux, myself included, where you think you have dealt with the pressure, but then somehow he still finds a way to uh, to uh, do even more. And the whole... It's not that his playstyle itself is good, it's more the strategies they come up with. So in this case, it's that Lux is doing the goth YOLO thing. Lux style. But the reason it can work so nicely is because of the strategy the White Wolf Palace team has behind this. And that strategy is a Burmese fast castle into a Rambai. And uh, I realized I wasn't up to speed. Okay, now we are. And uh, combined with that, they also have a Cumans ally, which gives your palace at walls more HP. Which makes it safer for the whole rest of the team to play their strategy. In this case, it's a mine straightforward archer play, Cumans, 2 TC boom, and fast castle from a Rambai, which is safer due to the strategy and the civilization cho choices. But again, looks now, because of this strategy as well, he's obviously invested four villages forward, he's lost his scout, he's trying to wall his base as well, and now he's taking a lot more damage again. He is, of course, being super annoying here and like making annoyances happen here, but at the same time. There's a, an archer, there's two archer ranges up now, there's a blacksmith, these archers will render this useless because Lix is still dark age. There is no tower, another two villagers down for Lix. He has lost three, four villagers in his base now. And if we check his economy, his 400 food still hasn't clicked up. And he's about to lose yeah. these units as well, to archers. So yeah. They're all using his back goal here. Seems like a straightforward fast cast layer. It was a very late fuel time from Hera, but it makes sense because of his um, situation, right? Paladin is actually playing Feudal Age Archers. Did he make Men Arms himself? Because Hera is going to fast cast this. Paladin is far, far away, but I guess they want Paladin to have some numbers while uh, Yo just gets into castles right with an insane economy. Archers cleaning up the militia and I mean Lux still has three villagers behind behind the base. But yeah it's not pretty it's not pretty at all. It's slaying allowed. I wouldn't know, but I don't see why not. Another two vill a villager is gonna go down here for Lux. Two Frank scouts still inside. He, like he will lose those two villas as well. Okay, he sent two more. This could be annoying though. Let's see what they see here. They don't know about it. Nikov is pinging there though. Okay, they see the villagers now. But this is two villagers. What are you gonna accomplish here? You're gonna run into the town center of heart. <laughs> oh. Now the archer sees them, and there's three dead villagers for Lix again. And this is what I'm saying. In theory. And this is again why it's so unfortunate they had to restart. Because Lix did the same thing against Hera last game where he well in the before they had to restart where he invested one villager and got way more value 
from the one villager, then four villagers have done this game. So that's why the restart was a really bad one for White Wolf Palace. Stable is up, coming up. Viv is about to drop a castle here. Knight's gonna be for heart, most likely. There's a barracks. Well, he actually snuck away with one villager. Why would he even make a barracks here at this point? Your feudal age, you have archers in your base, you're trying to rush up a tower. And you're even gonna be found, right? This is just absolute disaster. Now he's sending spearmen forward. But there's archers here. I don't get it. Surely deep down there's some party that watching Lux fail makes you happy. Eh, not really. I like to see, when I when I'm not playing against Lux, I love to see him succeed. <laughs> That's the harsh truth. Because it's so wacky, right? This is open. Arch is on the gold. Arch is gonna come on the wood line. This is what I mean. Lux is super dead. And he didn't do enough to slow them down. Although, this is where he still has slowed them down a little bit. So, there is still a chance that the Arambai will just absolutely rumple stomp, rumple stomp everything. Is this a second forward castle? Yes, it is. So now Viv is sending... Okay, it's not forward. It's doing double castle now. So the Arambai play is going to go ham. And we also see a difference now that Lyria goes for knights instead of cow archers. Because the situ like in the previous, before they restarted, Lyria was going cow archers. But now he's going knights since the situation is different, right? So yeah. Second range now for Paladin. He towered his main gold. But yeah, they're in, and uh, let's see Yo how far away from Castle she is. He's almost uh, hitting it. He does have double stable with bloodlines. He has plus one armor and forging on the way. So Yo should get a massive army out very shortly. Very three TC heart. Adding a second TC. Uh, with a two TC. Ah, uh, looks like AM. AM are looking good for sure. Looks like Rubenstock better wacky fellow. They both are very wacky in their own way, and tend to succeed more often than not, somehow. Getting good value here is uh, is Nico with his archers. Kill one Arambai, didn't lose any himself. This is where Arambai are strong though, as long as Nikov is still... Uh, Nikov is almost cast age. I think they should be very happy with how this is going. It's gonna be crossbow, it's gonna be knights, and the Arambai numbers aren't out of control yet. He really should save these now, though, because these Aramba can kill all of this. I think they overstayed their welcome a little bit too long. Aramba are going to be super scary now. And obviously, Yo hitting Cast Edge with insane eco. It's going to get crazy night numbers very soon, so he should keep his flank safe. That's what I meant. Nico should have gone back earlier. Now he's going to possibly lose more. If only these Aramba were slightly more accurate, maybe. Yeah, we are, we are kind of watching the games because we couldn't find games ourselves. All our possible opponents are playing here. So Nikov lost everyone except one archer. And that, now he's just running in. <laughs> and now Nikov's eco is going to be uh, potentially dangerous. This eco is sort of walled in. He would have to delete his walls to get out, but yeah. Vivi going for the guaranteed damage. It's not looking too bad for for White Wolf Palace, honestly. Lux is obviously super dead, but uh, Vivi and Yo are in very good positions as the pocket. She can show the Q on the right side. I can't because it's interfering with the score. Look, if I have this on, I have no, no idea why this is there. I feel like it should be higher up. And this does not look good, right? So... Unfortunately, I cannot have that. It's not the UI scaling. Q is more interesting than the score. You guys want the Q rather? We can go like this. We could put score down here. This feels weird. I agree that the Q is very inf crucial information, but not having score is weird. 
score better, score better, pull. I'll go with score for now. If someone knows which 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 uh, line to edit in the in the file, I could fix it. You guys know the the line to edit. All right, so crossbow numbers. We have Paladin with 26, Hero with 20. So I have the same crossbow numbers, but uh, Yo's knight numbers should be getting out of control here. Yo's about 12 villagers ahead of Liri as well. I wonder what the is it. I wonder if it's only Arabia or if they have different mixed maps. Look how desperate Nico is. He has a TC palace at walls. Market there. Yeah, this is uh, looking good for White Wolf Palace. Our Ambi are just ridiculous. How does Hart deal with this, right? He can never engage this with knights. He can never engage this. No matter how many knights he has, he will never take a good trade against this. There's a point where maybe even Leary should switch to Cavalchers, but then again, Leary has Yo to worry about on the other side. So it looks like it's working. Different maps, okay. Yeah, I know about the gate bug. Text scaling is not the issue regarding uh, this. It's just it's the position in the in the file. Is he going for a TC? If he takes the hill here, there is no fetching or botkin on the town center. So in theory, he could have sat on the hill there and probably taken out the town center. But yeah, Hearts in a big big pickle here. So Hera has a big lead on on Paladin here, but then again, Yo has a lead on Leary. Oh, this could be a sick fight for Wolf Pass. Hera does go back to the hill. Hera can't stay there, he has to go back. Oh, is he staying? Leary is out of position at the moment. But Leary is nice to come in from the back, so this should be maybe a good fight for... Ooh, they want to fight here? They want Hera to take the hill? Oh, they're going for it. This should be a way better fight for AM, actually. The crossbows on the hill for Hera is going to deal so much more damage to the Knights of Yo. Great maneuvering here by AM and... Kind of over ambitious by White Wolf Palace, I must say. There were more knights from Yo, so they're still trading okay, but they definitely lost more than they would have liked to there. Lyra is caught up to Yo village account as well now, so yeah. Aramba just wrecking havoc, dominating as always. No surprise there. Lux is actually Castle Age, by the way. He's going for Huskals. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. So it's going to be a Rambai Huskull play on this side now. They're starting to dwindle down the the army though, but... <laughs> 17 more on the way. Feels bad, man. I don't envy them for playing against this Arambai style. Well, it's a hill advantage here for Paladin, so probably Hera and Liri don't want to force this. Still looks like they are... Uh, in control though, let me see... Liri has the food to go imp, but he's lacking gold. Yo has way more on gold, so I think Yo's knife production is gonna be better. Oh god, this 20... 25 Arambai. He's having the time of his life. Can't he counter Arambai with skirms? You need like 20 skirms. To actually start trading okay against the Arambai, and the issue is that there's so many of them, and there's husk calls on the way as a follow-up, right? So even though the Arambo are doing work, the Huskals are now going to come into play. And they're going to hard counter the hell out of Nikov. I feel like Nikov is about to get defeated, guys. Obviously when I say defeated, I'm exaggerating. But I think Nikov will disappear from the map very fast. Look at the TC go down. Look at how ridiculous this is. He's just trying to run villagers because he knows the TC is gone. He did He did Bodkin Arrow as Franks in Castledge because he, know, he know, you knew this would happen, right? Our White Wolf has winning this. Uh, they have, I'd say they have a better Civ setup. Uh, they have, they're definitely not winning yet though. Look, Harris should be on the way to Imp, 50%. Leary should be about to click. Okay, he's up as well. Yo just clicked up as well. Paladin is getting close. Like the bottom side is definitely winning for uh, Hera and Leary. It's just the top side is where Nikov is about to just be rendered completely useless. The house calls and then the Arambai could also. He's just going for the town centers, yeah. Might as well, right? Art on 83 villagers. 
think at this point he could also send a Rambo to finish Nikov. But then again, does he need to? The Knights are helping out Nikov a lot though. Can you show, show top right stats? I can't, it's interfering with the score. You were criticizing Lix. Lix still didn't accomplish much. It's not that Lix did much with his strategy. Lix could have gone sc scouts or skirms. Like the only... The, the thing did Lix did with his strategy was make sure Nico didn't have massive archer numbers hitting cast Lage, right? So there is that. But at the same time... You could also accomplish that by going archers yourself, possibly, and the Aramba would still do what they're doing right now. Mixing in Pikeman as well now to make sure he can deal with the knights better. Tower rushing the gold. Big fight here, early cast stage. Leary obviously gets the last attack upgrade for free by being Maggers. So I think like feel like this should be a close fight. Yo seems to have the numbers advantage though. There goes the town center of Nikov. <laughs> I was looking on the Aram by. Another TC is gone. And now Lyra is about to feel the wrath. And that's the thing with the Rambo as well, right? You have insane mobility. And what Viv is doing now is fighting a town center without fletching. This town center doesn't even have fletching, right? And Lyra is going to lose a lot of villagers, it's gold income, and this is going to help Yo in his fight against this so much. You have no idea how much of a difference this makes now in what's going to happen in the next couple of minutes. Lyra will have to invest his Cavalier to defend this, we'll have to try and stabilize. Suddenly Lyra is down to 106 villagers, and this means that Hera's army is suddenly by himself against Cavalier. And yeah, there's nothing to stop this strat. I think there is someone to stop it. You just have to... I don't think Pocket can play Knights. That's just the main thing, right? I think Pocket has to play uh, a different unit. Obviously, he's Franks in this case, so it's not the greatest. But yeah, look how the Aramba killed Cavalier even. Now this is an easy cleanup for Yo and uh, Paladin. And yeah, they're just owning it, right? It's a castle up for Nico, so... In some degree, he to some degree he is sort of safe now. But his economy is also in complete shambles, right? 61 bills for Nikov. Lix almost has more bills than Nikov now, right? And the Aramba is still alive, right? They, so the main issue with Aramba is that melee units cannot touch them. Another thing is that they have mobility enough to dodge range units. And they have enough HP to the point where, even though they have low armor... Oh, he can't even get the T's out, god. Even though they have low armor, they still have enough HP to the point where something like crossbow doesn't really actually kill them. It's just a ridiculously strong unit now, right? And now Yo has complete free reign. He probably has Paladin on the way, indeed. Paladin, 35%. And now Hera is playing a 2v1, pretty much. And there's the resign. They realize that it is over. It's a ridiculous snowball with Aramba. It's actually insane. All thanks to Lix. This is not thanks to Lix. This is thanks to their strategy. Their, it's thanks to their... Dude, you could have put Jordan here and this would have worked simply because... So the reason it works is the combination, right? It's Burmese, first of all. Good eco, double Aramba castle, triple Aramba at this point. Insane strategy. Secondly, you combine this with the palace set walls of Cumans, which grants him the safety he needs. And then you combine that with the other pocket being Cumans, who will have a sick equal and can play by himself pretty much. And that just, it's just a whole synergy between the civilizations in this case. Of course, Lix does his job here. Uh, it looked terrible for him though, like the way he, the trades he got was, were not the best. He lost four villagers forward. Of course, he did slow down Nico, he did slow down Hart a little bit, but... Uh, Personally, I don't think it's worth it to the point where he, like, he takes all, all his takes it to the extremes, right? But at the same time, it's just a follow-up strategy, right? That is just so hard to deal with. 
And you combine that with humans, and it's just in, it's insane. One zero for the white wolf boys. But Vivi was untouched for all the game. I know, yeah, for sure. That's that's what I'm saying. The reason he's untouched is because he's walled, and the other pocket is going scouts. So, so uh, Nikov cannot. So no one can actually attack uh, Vivi, right? At the end, worth it. Yeah, it definitely was. Like he still got the value he he needed, right? There's no question about it. But I also think it was a slight misplay by Nikov to fight with those fuel age archers, right? He had like nine, ten fuel age archers. Then he fought against the Arambai, and he got back home with one archer alive, right? Imagine if you have ten more archers, crossbows hitting Castledge. I think I think you're in a pretty good spot to deal with the Arambai then. I think that was the big difference because you lost the snowball or crossbow numbers as well. If the team dogpiles on the Burmese player, would that save them? They cannot justify doing that, right? Because there's other ple people in the team, right? There's yeah, there's other players. Is this the, the game or is that the... Let's try. This might be the uh, the dropped game. What year did you live in Tromsø? Oof. 2006? Like from 6 to 7? Something like that. Does your dad sp still play AOE? Now and then I would say, yeah. Not as much as before, obviously, but still now and then. Alright, so this is Valley. We are alive. We have Paladin playing as Ethiopian flank. His pocket is Mr. Yo, who is playing as the Franks. On the other side we have Indians with Vivi. And then we have Incas for Lix. <laughs> Lix is already... You already see red dots on the opponent's side when Lix is there. Uh, six from two th 2006 to 7 or 7 to 8? Uh, probably 7 to 8 actually. I don't remember exactly. That's uh, not a pretty lumber camp, in my opinion. Better place it here, maybe. So after you take the first bunch of trees, the second line row is going to be very inefficient. But all right, this is what it is. Hera is doing the licks! Hera, you should know, no one can do the licks. Only licks can do the licks. Do they have Burmese pocket? Hell yeah! So Hart is playing Burmese pocket, Hera is going for goth. Leary pocket, no, Nico, Khmer pocket, and Leary, Ethiopian flank. Leary laying a boar here from Mr. Paladin. So that's good for him. While Hera is trying to lix uh, Vivi here. Let's find some stone, but stone is not really crucial for the Indian player as of yet. And now he's circling around to the back of Lix's base. You're trying to lix your. Uh, you're trying to lix lix when lix is going Incas. Lix is gonna lix with Incas, and then Hera is trying to lix lix. So it's gonna be a lot of lixing, and lix is gonna have fun this game. Either way, I imagine. Uh, Gordner, thanks for eight months. Small head with the two months. You're all right, I prefer the vision. Thank you, man. So yeah, this is gonna be like lix is. He's gonna go really fast to fuel and he's gonna do his thing with Incas, right? There has been a elephant steal though from Leary on this side. So that's obviously good for uh, Aftermath on the left side. Who dropped now? Nika with Khmer pocket, solid sieve for sure. Looks lame to Hera. He stole two sheep from Hera. We saw that earlier. Still a... Uh... Oh, I didn't see the elephant behind the wood line. That's really unfortunate for Lix. Would you believe it? Dude, uh, this is At this point, Lix would have killed... He would have walled in two resources, killed a boar. The barracks would be up. You know, the usual. Hey, sir. And now Hera is showing his villager. Okay, actually not. Staying just out of range. Look, Hera, what's this pat? Okay, let's follow this Hera. 
Hera's village has gone here. And now there. Why has he taken this detour to get here? <laughs> when he could have just gone doop, there. <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, nice walling in the barriers. That's actually a really nice one. It's actually quite a uh, crucial resource for, for the Inca player, because you would like to, with Incas, get your berries going while you are yoloing with your villagers. Looks to me like Paladin may have stolen sheep from Lyria, because he has six sheep on the TC. Uh, no, he probably didn't. He's just learning deer. Makes sense. Or a zebra. As they are. Yeah, Lux doesn't see the elephant behind his woodland. It might at some point walk out of the fog of war, though. So he might see it soon. Oh, here we go, boys. Here we go. 17 pop. That's the magical number. 18 pop. What? He's adding another one? Who are you, Lux? And what have you done to Lux? Uh, does he still not see it? Uh, it's so close. But yeah, Lux definitely stole some sheep from Hera here. Hera should have maybe taken the opportunity to wall this wood line, uh, this stone mine, when he uh, was there with the village earlier. Yeah, really unfortunate for Lux here. It's such a small, small fog of war as well, right? Where you don't expect the elephant to be. Oh, it moved. <laughs> it just stays within the fog. Feels bad, man. So barracks up from Leary. Looks like Leary wants to go for a Drushfast castle. Sounds like a Leary thing to do. So Yo is on the way to Fulish with Franks. We have uh, Vivi on the way to Fulish with Indians. Hart is on the way to Fulish playing as the Burmese. Wait, that's a really fast Fulish as Burmese. Is he going with scouts? Scouts into Arambai maybe? Or is it just to have the potential to counter tower when Lux comes forward? Hmm, I'm a little bit confused about the um, the fast feudal for Heart here. It could be just to have a counter counter tower in case he gets forwarded. So here is doing the drush now on Lux, but Lux has all his resources walled. And he will have Inca's vill Inca villagers. Wait, now Lux can see it. Lux, you see your elephant, man. Eat it. Never mind. <laughs> he probably didn't notice. Drush is coming in here. Paladin looks like he wants to go in arms, actually. Yep. He might probably not do it now, though, since he is going to lose Militia and is about to hit Feudal Age. He always there with the scout as well. And in Feudal Age, very nice moves by Paladin. Actually, dealing very nicely with that Lyra Drush right off the bat. That's very, very nice for uh, for White Wolf Palace. All right. Uh, Hera, you think you can mill your berries? You think you can wall in the berries of... They're eating the town center here! Eating it! Okay, losing one militia. Does he really think he could wall in the berries of uh, Lux and go unpunished? Little did he know. Switching? Since when is that the first upgrade? You don't even have a tower! <laughs> Lix! Why would you do fetching first? Okay, there he fixed it. <laughs> that was so weird. Well, fight fire with fire, yeah? Like, the issue is that Lix should have already had the armor at this point. Ooh, Lyra getting forwarded by six villagers. I think that is absolutely the right move by Paladin to not allow Lyra to go for a pure fast castle here. And you know what happens? If the first push fails, bring in reinforcements. Make... <laughs> oh, and Hera even builds a mill. This is a wasted investment. You're never gonna... You cannot build a forward mill against Lux as Incas. Especially when you're in Dark Age. How would that ever work? <laughs> scouts about to join the party. Heart is there. Viv is there with scouts as well. Oh, this might get ugly for everyone. <laughs> a quick look over here. Barracks about to go down. Scouts denying a wall there. Uh, 
This will not be pretty for you, Mr. Hera, in the end. I mean, Lux has 20 villagers. Hera's 27. That looks all good, but Hera is still Dark Age. And uh, Lux has upgrades on his villager now, villagers now. Lux with a 1 HP villager there. If he makes it out alive, then oof. <laughs> oh, he actually makes it! Sick. I think when, when Hera hits Feudal Age, I think the villager count will not be that advantageous for him. <laughs> Only in a Lux game you see this, you have this picture ever. So Heart is on the way to Castle Age, he is on stone. Good thing for Viv is that he will have potentially camels, and camels should do okay against Arambai. But the Castle Age is about to hit quite fast. Uh, and there will be a Rambai right, right away. And a Rambai are really good to deal with the Lyx as well. But Lyx, they know that there's an, an Rambai pocket, so to say. So Lyx is ignoring Hera now. And he's just going to go straight to Heart. And probably drop a tower straight on the on the stone. So he's going to buy a lot of time here. Before the Rambai really come into play. Lyx is beginning to do the Lyx. Hera is still in Dark Age. 80. <laughs> he has 100 food in the bank. Hey, uh. Oof. Right, there we go. That's the tower. Let's see how Heart reacts. Heart has almost enough stone for, for a castle. I imagine he won't make a counter tower because he wants to have the stone for and do a castle drop. But still, this is annoying. This is small things. Ooh, the hill. He's gonna break it. He's gonna break it. Liri has to sacrifice one villager to make the wall off. Uh, Liri is not on the way to cast it. He's doing wheelbarrow. No, is he? No, he's doing a skirmisher. He's like, okay, I think Liri is being too greedy here. He's trying to still crawl his way to the castlage. But under this amount of pressure, it really doesn't work out in your favor. Art is on, in castle now. Nikov is on the way. Like, he's still desperately trying to make it to castlage. I just feel like it's, he's being a little bit too greedy here. hurting himself more in the process rather than actually accomplishing much with this. Nika will have double stable with Kumura, potentially making elephants. So that should be pretty solid. Lux just keeping on his Luxing. Hera still making militia by the looks of it. Two militia in the queue in Dark Age. 17 minutes, Hera still Dark Age. Not bad. There's no fetching even on these archers. That's just... There is idling his TC, he doesn't have horse color. I honestly think this is disaster play by Leary. He's just hurting his own economy so much by desperately trying to accomplish this fast castle, right? He has six farmers, seven farmers now, trying to collect the remaining 100 food that he needs. And he keeps requeuing a villager because he's still missing 50 food. And that takes a lot of time just to get that food to go to Castle Age. Look at the villager count now. 37 for Paladin, 29 for Leary. I, I really think this is a very greedy play by by Leary, and I think it, it's not worth it. Oh, the militia got into the wood line! To be fair, there are there is Inca's villagers, right? So they're doing a pretty good job, but he's now going to run. He will get away, most likely, with everyone except one villager. Same time, Castle is up now, a Rambai in play. This is going to be annoying, though, for Hart, right? He has to choose now whether he goes to attack or whether he... He deals with the towers first, right? Looks like he goes for the tower, towers first. And another concern with this is that it, got, it gives Vivi the time to get smoothly to Castle Age. And Vivi is going for Cav Archers. The floor was just mopped, by the way, when you entered. When I entered, there were, there were, it, was, it wasn't wet. And there were... Uh, St Staubsauga, whatever you call it, were standing there. So I, I assumed she hadn't mopped the floors. But yeah, so Vivi is going for the Cav Archer play. Which should be the right approach. It should easily clean the militia. And it should do a good job against a Rambai. By the way, again, there is no way for Hart to get to the second castle here anytime soon. He's gonna deal with this nicely. But like, yeah, this is just super annoying. Lear is still struggling to deal with what's in his base. He only has fletching archers. He has castle age now. About to hit castle age out, but still just fletching archers. And still losing bills on the wood line. Oh, so painful. Paladin has 15 more villagers than Liri. 16. 
He's, uh, he's not far away from Castage themselves. There's elephants though, which is gonna be a pain in the ass to deal with because they're super strong. That's where the, cam the like camels from Indians might have helped out a lot. Hera is gonna hit, do the, the typical 23 minute feudal age time. It's getting very close. But yeah, they are, this is the the thing. The good thing for White Wolf Pals here is that the Arambai numbers won't be completely out of control. Another tower coming up here for Lux. And Hart is still dealing with the towers before anything else, right? Now he's going to clean them up by all means. It's just that it buys so much time for Vivi to make the follow-up. I do like their position on this side though. Even though Lyra is far behind in the economy. I think dealing with these elephants is going to be very, very hard for uh, for a Chinese team. Did get one conversion here. We lost the monk in return. So you're always going for the knight monk approach. While uh, Paladin is pretty much just playing defensive towers and crossbows. So Paladin is 47 bills, Lyra is 27. Paladin has 20 more villages than Lyra, and he's almost going to hit, he's about to hit Castle Age. They have such a big economy lead on this side. Such a big eco lead. The only thing is the, the Nikov play here. Well, Nikov is still doing one TC though. Full elephant play, so they're going super, super aggressive. Lyra's job at this point is simply going to be to snipe the monks. But I think if Paladin gets enough crossbows out... He already has crossbows. Ooh, they're cleaning out the crossbows, this is so important! Oh my god, they killed all the crossbows. This is so good for White Wolf Palace. Now the monks can be guaranteed conversions, and that's... Every single elephant that goes away is massive. Oh, he's even gonna take the villager! So the forward siege is not going up. Switch to elephant, switch to an elephant. I would have switched to an elephant here, I think. He did? He did, right? Yeah, he did, and they killed the villager. So good for White Wolf Palace here. And looks, you know, when you lose your first 15 forward villagers, send 10 new ones. And Hera is still in Dark Age. Uh, he's just clicked up to Castle Age. Uh, still in Fuel Age. He just clicked up to Castle Age now. This is an absolute disaster for, for Aftermath at this point. Lyr and Hera are both so far behind. And now the numbers aren't there to deal with, with the monks of Yo. Yo has three elephants himself now, right? He can heal them up fully. And he is continuously making monks. They're dealing with this pressure perfectly. And they see even pikemen for Ethiopians. Looks very, very good for White Wolf Palace here. It's like it's taking off farmers from Hera here as well. Leo with 32 villagers, Hera with 36. Yo 55, Paladin 47, Vivi 49. This is uh, the initiator of the snowball though. Good pickoffs here for, for Heart so far. Gonna clean the villager, towers, towers should not go up. He's losing a few around by though. He could have fought the cow arches first and then gone for the tower. I mean, it's still super scary to play against uh, around by. The, the argument for cow arches is that you have uh, one range, but you still need numbers, right? The losses Vivi took here was not worth it. Big engagement here. Oh, Lear is gonna get the knight again. He's doing a barracks. A barracks? He's doing a barracks in the siege forward, but both villagers got picked off again. Yo is converting so many elephants. The elephants of Nico are all gone at this point. And the pikeman crossbow, this is just looking absolutely fantastic on the left side. Right side is the place where AM looks okay with the Arambai of Heart. But even then, it's like it's not like the Arambai are going to accomplish as much because there is cow watchers now for, uh, for Vivi. So the counter uh, is there. I think Vivi at this point just dropped two more ranges and even idle everything to get... Cow watcher numbers. So how do you follow this up, Nikov? Nikov realizes that one TC play doesn't work. Adds economy. And now there's more elephants for uh, for Yo than Nico, pretty much. Lyra's economy is still a complete disaster. He's actually trying to go fast imp. He has nine on food. He's trying to go fast imp. Seven on gold. He has 35 villagers. Dropping university, dropping seed workshop. All 
right, the numbers aren't there for Heart anymore. Heart has 18 Kavart uh, Arambai. Vivi has almost the same amount of Kavartes now. There's a cast up from Hera, so Hera could mix in some Tusk Hulls, which is going to be very nice against against uh, Kavartes. But then again, you have Arambai uh, behind that again. So right side definitely looking good for, for Aftermath at the moment. It's all those freaking Arambai, man. Insane unit. But left side is looking... Really, really good for uh, White Wolf Palace. Actually, I think though. Oh, Vivi ju uh, Lix just lost five, six wheels for free. It's because he's busy over here, but still. The massive losses here. The issue I see here is that. I mean, this is a good fight for Vivi, actually. But yeah, what I wanted to say is that if the Aramba numbers remain. High. The issue is that the Rambo numbers can just ignore this side, let the Huskulls be here, and then switch completely onto the left side where Aramba should dominate because there's a lot of um, a lot of knights here for Yo, right? Okay, crossbow from Paladin on this. I'm not sure if I like this move by Paladin uh, going away from the monks and support of Yo because those crossbows could be very useful in terms of dealing with the Aramba as well. Inca have slingers though. That is true. But yo, uh, but Lix is feudal age. How many villas is Lily gonna lose here? One, two, three, four, five. Lily is going fast imp with 30 villagers. It's not even a fast imp at this point. Yo is almost imp. With Franks. Uh, looks fantastic for White Wolf Palace here. There we go, now's the husk calls in play. They don't have full upgrades yet, but yeah. They're gonna do very nicely against the Cavachers. Yeah, Cavachers, as you can see here, this is why Cavachers is a good unit against Arambai, because you have range and you have mobility to actually chase them down. Crossbows is a decent counter as well, but the issue is that once you get enough numbers to actually kill Arambai, the Arambai can just run away, right? And that's why Cavachers are so much better at dealing with them. But you always imp now. <sighs> How do they deal with the Cavalier spam from Yo coming in now? Yo is going to use his Knights to help deal with the Hurst Carls. He's even in on Harris economy here. Village accounts 26 for Lix, 30 for Leary. Hart and Hera on the same amount. Who's on the way to Imp now? Nico is on the way to Imp as well. Nico with uh, 82 villagers. Yo has 110. Vivi 85, Paladin 81. Looks pretty damn solid for our Chinese team here. And you know you know that Hera went for the fast imp, right? Paladin has 50 more villagers and he's close to imp as well. Forward castle coming in from Yo here. There we go. Another tower on top of all the farms of Hera. Looks at this point still being annoying, man. And yeah, the Aramba numbers aren't there. Cowards are cleaning up everything. Make some husk calls from the back of the base. Cavalier cleaning up the whole Ca Aramba army. Cavalier is in. Larry knows that he can't really contribute either. Just really good play by White Wolf Palace. Why would you analyze your games versus Yo? Um, if if a game if there's a game I don't know why it went wrong. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't feel like it. I don't do it. That's not only yo, that's everyone. Yeah. Get <laughs> All right, very solid, very solid. Definitely think that they really punished Leary's fast castle here. Well, fast castle at this point. We see Leary, he wanted to go fast castle, he ended up with a 21 minute castle age. So they punished that one big time. And then the Hera with the 23 minute feudal age. Only Lix can do Lix. Lix is the deluxe Lix version, indeed. It's not really too much else to say. It worked, like Lix also managed to slow down Heart a little bit to the point where Vivi had time to switch into the Cav Archers smoothly. So, yeah. 
Right, in your opinion, what would be the order of priority to develop the technologies of the monastery? There is no right order. It depends on what you're doing, right? If, if your only purpose of the monks is to collect relics, you should do the speed upgrade. If your purpose of the monk is to take part in combat, you should probably do HP upgrade. If your purpose is to convert siege units, you probably want to do redemption and so forth, right? It will always depend on what the situation is. There is no right priority, always. Robo, man, I couldn't find a game because everyone was playing this stupid show match. So I had to start casting, you know? Right, so we've been uh, tipped off that there's a crazy strategy coming in here for... for tempo. Let's try to figure it out. So we have Teuton's flank for Hera, Cumans pocket for Heart, Tatars for Nikov pocket, and Lyra with Persians. Okay, this is easy. Lyra is gonna douche Lux, who is playing as Chinese. Hera is gonna douche Paladin, who is playing as the Britons. Teutons are a good doucher because they can garrison 25 villagers. Persians have twice the HP on their town center, so they are good for douching as well. Question is, is Hart gonna go double douche <laughs> on the pockets? And Nikov just boom and enjoy life? Maybe Fast Castle Keshex? I don't know. The Slayer AOC with the two months. Good luck, Mr. Viper, in Red Bull Volo 3. Get us that tournament. <clears throat> I'll try my best, sir. Uh, thank you. Dollarman18, thanks for priming it up. Priming? Priming it up. Appreciate that. King Ruthra with the six months. Thank you for entertaining me through these long working hours. Co op versus one versus four AI games, please. I will definitely return to that at some point. I cannot beat them, though. They're too strong. Yeah, I'm wondering if uh, if Heart will just boom it up. It would make sense to just boom it up, but at the same time, they're already going for a douche on the flanks. Might as well do a douche from the pocket as well. <laughs> He's already going. Isn't it a little early? Larry, you don't have resources, dude. You have two on wood. You don't have wood for a town center. Larry. <laughs> It's gonna take forever until they can douche. It's a disaster. You're 200 wood. Era is quite far away as well. How is he do gonna do this? Like, he's in the base now with missing 50 wood. And he has two woodcutters. And he's also wasting wood on palisades. Inexperienced doucher right here. He has so many idle wheels just running around doing nothing. Oh, this is a bad wall. Like now he could douche there and these villagers are trapped. That's a bad wall by, uh, by Lux. Like he should have definitely escaped with these two wheels. So TC will come here now, potentially, and then these wills are screwed. He should probably drop a house there or something. TC is gone! Here we go, here we go. Where is it? Okay, well that's... He can hit the villagers there still, right? Those wills have to relocate. And he's not walled. Oh, this is gonna be bad for Leary. You need to wall your village. Okay, Leary is dead. And <laughs> Hera! He's douching at 10 minutes. They're all fully walled. You're not gonna get inside, dude. He has to douche the walls. <laughs> wait, wait, he can chop. He can chop the tree. Well, Leary might get it up, but still. Leary won't have villagers to garrison the TC. Oh, he's gonna chop the tree. He's gonna chop the tree. Yes, that's the only way. He can only get through by chopping the tree. Here we go. Now, how do you react to this paladin? There's the TC. He garrisons fast. Oh, the TC might go down. The 
Uh, no. Okay, it's fine. If he garrisoned right away, the teeth would have gone down. Well, there is a disaster. That's confirmed. Hera did get in, uh, fortunately for him. But only due to sloppy walling. So, TC is up. He does have double the HP, but he has two woodcutters. Let's put two of them on the berries. I think he re... Okay, Leary, as a, an experienced doucher, I must tell you, you're going to need more wheels and wood to be able to uh, out-repair. He only has seven arrows. <laughs> so his his TC is even... It's going to take forever to take out the town center. Lix. Lix might just ignore this, honestly. Because the damage output is so small. So what's the pockets doing? Heart is booming, like a madman. Two TC booming. I think uh, Nico will go fast castle cavalchers or or knights. Vivi with a villager there. Not sure why Vivi sent the villager forward. He is playing as the Persians. Not sure what the purpose of that one was. Yeah, this is where I said this should should have been the TC spot. Should have been there, right? Then he can also take wood himself. He denies the lumber camp and he hits the town center. Looks like sending two wheels forward or what? Or is he going to finish the wall? I'm not sure. Bottom side here is actually a TC fight, but Hera has five more arrows or attack strength. So. I reckon Paladin will lose his town center. But he is feudal age, so he could drop. Oh, he's dropping a tower here. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the best idea. Scouts are around. No sign of a barracks or archery range yet. I think at this point you let the TC go, but you built a tower now, so you cannot actually make another TC yourself. Looks let the TC go, which is absolutely the right move to do. Leary has 14 villagers. He wants to do another douche, but at this point it's like... Why is... Why is Lux not dropping his town center? What's going on here? What is happening? Lux, what are you doing? Lux! Did Lux drop? What is going on? Oh, well, Leary decides that he doesn't want to play the game anymore. So he sends all the villagers inside. Makes sense. No, he has wood. I was on his town center. Uh, I was on his point of view. He had the wood. So he's literally trying to douche now with nine villagers. Stable blacksmith from Vivi. <laughs> okay, so it's Cavalchers from Nikov. And Heart is just booming like a madman. What is Yo doing? He's Khmer. He'll probably go elephants. Oh, dude. When Yo makes elephants. Wait, Hero, you don't have wood! Why would you make a farm? Hero doesn't have wood! He's out of wood. He's losing the TC war with Teutons. He's out of wood. Wait, that was a nice move though. He, he debated some fire with the with the villager. Hero, you ain't got wood! The TC fight is gone! Well, Lyria is trying- I mean, this is disaster for Lyria. He's dead for sure. And Hero is losing- he doesn't have wood to repair. What a disaster. Um, and Yo is just gonna go elephants, and you know what elephants do against TCs that are not there? They do pretty well. Now what Paladin needs to do is wall this, make sure Hera can't escape. They're dead. I'm sure the AM guys are having fun on, on voice, but they're dead. What are they doing? They, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Going on stone now because he cannot afford another TC. He's losing all the villagers. Here comes elephants. It's forward, uh, forward villager as well. Maybe he wants to put a stable to put pressure on the heart here. Actually, two forward stables here would have been insane from from Yo. He would have s smashed heart so hard.
We have Kimura Knights now. Yeah. To be fair, they're killing the Knights, the villagers. Hmm. He's also going to lose every villager he has. Liri has seven villagers. I'm really happy I decided to cast this. Quality games. To be fair, the first two games were good. This third game is a throwaway game by AM. Uh, Besom Steel, thank you for the three months. Turk Ikov AOE, thank you for the host. Hope you had a good stream. Uh, Ashberg, thanks for two months as well. Hashtag not loyal yet. Dude, you gifted 20 subs earlier as well, so... That seems loyal to me. Tiramis, thanks for four months. Hello, good sir to you as well. Four monastery. <laughs> Got a villager walled in. Alright, Lex is walling in his base again. They're like, we know you guys are dead, but we're not taking any chances, dude. Like, he's actually walling in his base. At this point, I guarantee you, I would be memeing all over the place if I was AM, uh, Wife Wolf Palace. Although, if we are completely honest here, and look at the numbers right now, Hart has 51 villagers, Nico has 41. It's actually not impossible for AM. Of course, Hera and Liri are just done playing the game, pretty much. And it's very likely that that Yo and Vivi will buy time for both Lux and Paladin to enter the game. But that doesn't change the fact that that Nikov and Hart are in a very strong position. I still wish those were elephants. Well, Hera is about to get super defeated. I wish there was elephants forward here on uh, on Hart. That's what would have been their real masterpiece. <laughs> There's one knight inside. Yo, KD, 24 1. Pretty solid, eh? Monk Siege Pressure. This is the right move, I would say, as well. Just make sure. No, don't convert, don't convert to Vils! What? Why would Hera delete? Obviously, did it for the funds, but still, he should have let them convert so these knights could have engaged. Hmm. Hera and Liri are like fighting about who can get the lowest score. To be fair, Liri has a TC up and is booming away. So he's gonna be back in the game in no time. Hera was defeated. Like, again, the worst part here is that I actually think Hart and Nikov would have been in positions where they could potentially carry the game to the point where both Hera and Lyric could have entered the game again. It might seem ridiculous at this point, but they were just, they are in really good positions economically and military-wise. Both Hart and, and, uh, and Nikov here. Yeah, I'm not sure how the sponsor is going to feel about this. But I'm not the right person to talk. I also meme around and do fun stuff in show matches. But not enough... No. But not this extreme memeing. <laughs> this is extreme memeing. Next level memeing. Hera just told him what he was doing. Is Hera... Like, watching the game from... Does he have full vision and is telling them what's happening? Is that it? That's not the right move in that case. Or not a good move in that case. It's still a show match that should be over, so in the grand scheme of things it shouldn't matter much, but... But yeah. Guys, also, okay, we should just stop this in chat right now, guys. Let them do what they're doing. Uh, let's not add more fuel to the fire in case things are happening. Let's just let them do, play the game. We'll just finish the game and then we'll take it from there. Oh, my dear. Vive raiding Leary. Leary has... Vive is killing... 15% of Lyra's eco with one knight. 
Okay, I think Lyra is Xing a lot and asking for help. I mean, they're... AM is about to have score lead. Like, I, I legit think, or think AM could have won this game if Leary and Hart, after their failed masterpieces, actually tried to come back into a game. At this point, I think it will be difficult, but I think they could have won the game if they actually tried. Even at this point, there's a small chance they could still win, actually. That's some massive damage. I wouldn't honestly wouldn't be surprised if AM wins this game. When's Who, your next show match? Fuji reaction with the five euros. When's your next show match? I don't know. I think it will happen after Red Bull. Very quickly after Red Bull. I think I have two or three show matches lined up. That will happen. Maybe four even. So after Red Bull. Uh, Shots? Can you close the door, please? The good news is you'll have 1-1 one -one opponents. Yeah, I'm hoping rather for team game, actually. I'm going to play for another 40... I, I'm, I have 45 more minutes, because I'm going to train with Tato at 7. So I don't have too much more time today. How confident are you on the Red Bull tournament? I'm feeling very good about it. This village is just being sniped over the wall. The Lancer play. Okay, economy wise. So, uh, Hart is on the way to Imp. He's going for Lancers. If he went for a real unit. Like, honestly, they should, AM should, should win this game. <laughs> Young Flame, thanks for eight months. But the issue I have now is that if Hera is actually spectating the game and telling them what happened, I don't think AM should be allowed to win this game. That's my concern with this right now. now I, I don't have the facts on, on the table, right? So I don't know what actually happened. But he's, he stopped after two minutes. But even two minutes is just... If AM actually wins this game now, it's still going to be a little bit of... A, He has apologized, he has moved on, yeah. I don't know what information he relayed, so I'm not sure how how valuable it was. So we'll see. Nico's on the way to Imp, Hart is on the way to Imp. Question is if Vivi, Yo, Paladin, etc. can buy enough time. They're doing all full stone walls now, which they have to do, right? Because there is a uh, Okay, they're doing the right. They're taking the right precautions here to survive. Although Vivi's base here looks quite open still, they're taking the precautions they need in order to survive uh, the early imperial age from the other guys. I would still say there's a chance that AM wins. Right now, it's pretty much 50-50 in my opinion. What chance do you give for Doubt to qualify against Kapoch? I think he will. I think he should do well. It's best of five as well. Doubt is well prepared, and also I think Doubt, Doubt was hiding stuff in the first match against Kapoch, which was stupid by him. At least to the extent that he did. Ooh, this is gonna be a Doubt Castle from Livy. Yeah, this is Doubt Castle, that will never go up. I think defeated players should be able to help team know what's wrong with it. The issue is that if you're defeated, you can see the whole map. You can see everything the opponents are doing. You pretty much get full vision. And that's the point where it, it's not right anymore, right? Otherwise... Mm, yeah, I don't know. Even if you have the vision of your allies, when you're defeated, I feel like you shouldn't be able to... Like give too much comments anymore or contribute to the game in, in a much of a fashion. So still no one from White Wolf Pass on the way to Imperial Age. 
This is open, so they're gonna break in here, and this is a disaster for for uh, White Wolf Palace. Four casters from Nikov as well. Lead Lancers. Still no one on the way to Imp. I think I think AM will win this game. Nikov and Hart will do so much damage to them here, and Leary even will be in the game. Probably before some of the White Wolf Palace people. The game doesn't let you chat after you're dead, so it should not be a thing in my opinion. I, I agree. You shouldn't be able to interact with your team when you're dead. Would be my opinion. Not a forward caster from Nikov. Village accounts are going down. So the only good things right now is that they're gonna spend some time to actually kill Vivi and actually kill. If White Wolf Pass were super tryhard about this, they would have slung. Okay, I like the Paladin actually fortified walled himself away from from Yo. Yo is now on the way to Imp. Maybe they even will sling. If they sling Yo to go elephants here. Ooh, is he gonna let him finish? Nope, he will not. I also think if Hart just went Paladin, <laughs> they're way more likely to win this game than going the Lancers. Liv is dead, right? There's raids on Lux as well. I think AM is winning this game. Viv is booming in Lyra's base. Lyra is in Feudal Lich, guys. Almost. <laughs> A stupid game. Yeah, there's. it's very likely to be some drama from this, but I, I think... In the end, like I don't know what happened, right? Exactly, I don't know how much was revealed, but either way, I think it's no point adding fuel to the fire, right? Let them deal with it inter eternally, internally. Massive damage here again. You always imp, but he doesn't have eco anymore. 69 villagers, nice. The only ones, the only one that's looking okay right now is Paladin, and he's still in Castlage. Nico and Hart have more population than the rest of the game. Parasite is going to talk to our team and if they think it was too bad, he will give the win. Okay, cool. That's one way to do it. I think they won't take the win. I think we'll have another game after this. Castle dropping Leary. What a waste. <laughs> Why would you castle drop Leary? He's dead. He's already... <laughs> he's feudal age. Well, Yo did finish the walls. He's losing a TC to Cowatchers on the hill. Tatra's Cowatchers, that is. Going Scorpions, Trebor. Actually, Yo will survive. Yo will actually survive. But Vivi is down to 40 villagers. Lux is up to 80 though, but he's still being raided. There was a Doubt Castle here from Vivi, so he's gonna lose half his eco there. What happened to Hera? Both Hera and Liri went for douches. It didn't work out. But. Both Hart and Nico just went to Fast Castle, boom, enjoyed their, their lives, and it's working out for them. Not a castle in the range of a trebuchet, that's ballsy. Paladin is about to hit Imp. I mean, Paladin, if he can get to 200 pop, he can potentially buy time for Yo. Okay, it's not over yet. It's definitely looking good for AM. But if Paladin can stabilize and actually get military in the field to the point where he can keep one guy busy. Then Yo's eco isn't too far away from being able to enter the game again, since he is already Imperial Age. Still obviously looks very very bad for for White Wolf Palace, but I can see small chance for them. 
Although still very unlikely. Can Larry come back? I think Larry will come back. He's he's on the way to Castle Age. He gets a little bit of a sling and he drops four TCs and booms and he's back to Castle Age and they're sharing TC. <laughs> and he's back back to the game in, in no time. Okay, he finally secured that castle. Now he needs to move to this one. Tatters Treb on the hill, hitting a castle. 600 damage per hit, or something along those lines. Wait, did he do... Oh, that looks a lot like Warwolf. The accuracy of this trebuchet has to be Warwolf, right? Three shots in a row right to the base. Has to be. Taking out the gate with his cab archers. 160 pop for Paladin. Where's your army? He's going Halberdier. Okay, 160. Lux isn't 100. Vivi is more dead than Leary now. Lux is on the way to Imp. Okay, this game is not over, guys. This game is not over. Another castle down. Okay, the lances are in, though. And this is gonna be... I mean, there are pikemen now, though. Not Halberdier yet. Halberdier is on the way. He's gonna lose half of them before the Lancers arrive, so that's not great for him. But I think Paladin will survive. Nico is slinging Lyra now for the boom. One TC. Two TCs. Cast from Lyx. You're always gonna be raided into, into being dead again here. But Lyx is stabilizing, guys. That's the big thing. And you guys know the Chinese, they're not ones to give up, right? They don't give up easily. This castle is gone. Okay, Paladin might give... He's still 160 pop though, so he's still fairly solid. He needs to find a moment to stabilize here. Heart is finally switching into Paladin. Heart is taking all the gold of Hera as well. So he's gonna afford Paladin easy peasy. Second cast from Lix. Lix 125 pop. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Paladin is about to stabilize. But he doesn't have tools to deal with the cow archers. But Lix is gonna start to keep Nico busy on this side. Heart is preparing siege ram. Lix population 140. Okay, we're, we're gonna soon have a situation where White Wolf Pass will have two two players on two on the population again. Unless this raid does a lot of damage. So funnily enough, this might still be a, a game. Yo, does, Yo, Yo will not need long time until he's back in the game. But yeah, actually Paladin might take too much damage here. He's losing so much of his farming eco in this. Should probably just be over still. What does Yo have here? Light Kev. Lancers are pretty solid actually against this. And the Kev is with 6 melee armor and 7 pierce armor. Okay, so Lix is gonna be the one who is 2 in a pop. And the pressure Lix is gonna put here is gonna give him access to a lot of resources. It's gonna slow down Lyra again. And it's going to force Nikov. Nikov so currently has 20, 30. Nikov has 60 population or military invested on the bottom side. Which is giving them a big advantage there. But he won't have numbers to defend up here properly. He does have 99 military though. So Lix is currently 100% back in the game. Liri and Vyo are about the same now. Vivi is trying to boom back into the game, but will take some time. Chuck, 1066, thank you for the 11 months. Young Flame, 54, thanks for 8 months. But yeah, Paladin is down to 60 pop again. Yeah, should be over. The thing here is though, if they can buy time to the point where they always hang on, then... then there's always the chance for them to end up in late game with 800 population against 600. Uh, 
uh, useless Saurus Rex. Uh, Hera is not like the others on its on his team cannot hear Hera's voice, right? Lyria is actually an Imperial Age. Castle Barracks is going Paladin himself. It looks like. Yeah, game should be over. These Cav Archers with the insane armor is actually is just insane. It's actually ridiculous how good they are. Liri has resigned. Did he drop? Yo has resigned. What happened? Does anyone know what actually happened here? Did they say GG? Why did Lyra resign if they said GG? Resign because of enemy drop. Okay. So I would probably have time to cast the last game or the at least one more game before I start training with Taro. Legion of Loom, thanks for the five months. Not really anything to see here. I think Vivi threw honestly with not stonewalling the whole his whole section. If that was stonewalled, they would have had so much more time. That's kind of what what uh, was the throw there on on White Wolf Palace's side. Hera purple. I believe Hera was purple in the gray in the previous one. This should be the right one. All right, new game. Uh, civilizations will be all the same. TC spots, wait, what? Who is this? So Lux dropped the TC there, but Vivi is on the same spot. So we deleted the TC and replaced it slightly closer. Paladin as well on this side. And yo, dude, they have like Arabia positions here. They have like four TCs in a nice row here. It doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily a good thing because you will be sharing resources and such. But they are all very, very close together, so they can synergize as a typical Arabia game, pretty much. Um, heart here with Malians, a little bit of a slow TC, am I right? Uh, that's probably a decent timing. Decent spot for him, berries, wood on both sides. <laughs> Why would you even make the dock there, though, right? You, have, you know that you're so close to the edge of the map, and you have scouted this. This dock position makes zero sense to me. Very, very confused about this dock. Look, oh god, it's even a... I think he might be able to go across here. I think he will be able to pass here, but still, it's quite a disaster dock for sure. We have Hera and Lix right next to each other, both Lithuanian players. Tizi for Nico, playing as a Spanish, is here. So Hera had three villas in different spots. He made a TC there, docked there, and this village has been running across the map by the looks of it. Dock in the center for Paladin. Nice, a lot of fish in the center here. And he's all by himself for the time being, so he should be very happy with that. Nico on the top with the dock. No docks along the bottom left. Top right, we have a dock from Vivi. A dock from Yo. Nice fish on the top side, so... Think position-wise and everything, I think... White Wolf Palace are definitely better off. Especially this dock here is gonna be a... Honestly, I wouldn't even take short fish here. When my TC is this close, I think you're just removing fish from your from your fish and ships. On Dormant Nomad, is it better to dock the center first or outside? Is center control important for this type of map gen? It can be important in certain games, but it usually depends on your villager spawns, right? If Paladin had a villager spawning here, I guarantee you he would make a dock there rather than running to the center and dock in the center, right? It usually, de <clears throat> it usually depends where your villagers spawn. Kagan, thanks for 100 bits. Prime it up, he says. MX63, thanks for 25 months. <clears throat> Two boars for Vivi here, one boar for Lux so far. They all will have enough resources to do whatever they want at this point. Yo will have two boars with Mongols and three deer next to his town center. Very nice for him. 
Paladin has a boar as well. I'm bringing in a lot of uh, turkeys as well. Very solid start for all the Chinese players, I would say. Heart is going heavy on the fish boom. But... I, I'm not sure if I agree with this approach, considering the fact that this fish is about to get really bad. Like, he should identify this as well. Probably already send the fishing ship to look around. He might consider a redock here. It's going for the boar now. I assume. Yeah. He should probably consider redocking. Now he scouts and finds one more fish. <laughs> but that's it. Where's Tim? Tim is not here. <clears throat> Nika was a nice spot here. The wood line is not great, so he's gonna have to make a lumber camp very soon. Actually, a very lack, a lot of lack of wood for Mr. Nikov. Not the greatest map for him, but he has a lot of food under his town center, so he should be fine. Stone close as well, so conquistador play, probably imminent. Yeah. They're walking around here. They're playing Berbers, so that's the difference here. We have Berbers against Mongols. Lithuanians, Malians, and Spanish are the same, and then Berbers for AM and Mongols for, for the Chinese team. So Hart has now yeah, he stopped making fishing ships. He realizes that it's just a wa uh, wasted investment at this point. He's apparently looking for more boars, I would assume. Yeah, this fish is... Uh, he's not... Fu okay, he's able to go past here. That's good news for him. That means he can potentially go down here and make a new dock and still have efficient fish. Uh, it's still not pretty at all. So look at population-wise now. 26 for Vivi. Great start for him. 25 for Paladin, 22 for Yo, 20 for Lux. All 20, 20, 21, 21, 24, 24 for the Aftermath team. Yo is on the way to Fuel Age as well. Let's see if he goes for Scouts. He's looking to make a second dock by the looks of it. Looking around for Fish too. Leary is between Vivi and, and Yo here. So I think Leary is very likely to lose his fish uh, in not too long. Use like a second dock for Yo. And no barracks. Still, he can wall it and have safe fish boom with traps. He can. Yes, he can. But it's still not a great. Like, you don't want. This should not be the situation with your fish at 10 minutes in the game, right? Sending a village now, so you'll probably do a, a re dock in this location. But still, losing a lot of economy in the process. Fuelage on the way for Licks. And yo, very close to hitting fuel age. White wolf pals, guys, are all faster, pretty much. I I like their position a lot. Already walled off the whole side as well. Here is Lux. Second dock is up for yo. Does he know about? He saw. He knows about the dock from there. There. Now he sees the fishing ship anyway. So galley immediately. The gather point is up here though for some reason. We'll clean up uh, Avalyria's fish very fast. Baby went for a double dock as well, so he's gonna have great uh, fish boom going. Okay, now the ping is there, so this fish of Avalyria is gonna be bye bye. Malay are good. Uh, Malay are decent. Stonewalling right off the bat as well as Lux. Ignoring the full palisade, he wants to fully stonewall to make sure the left side is never gonna be in doubt. Guess I like that approach. You don't want roaming conquistadors, for example. I mean, this is what they can also sort of team all themselves completely, right? By uh, man, look at the fish in the middle of a paladin all by himself. He's having the time of his life. But yeah, like they're gonna be like team all on the left side now completely. There's not a chance for conquistadors to hit any of them from the left side. So all the aggression will be directed and guided through the center. Sharing is caring, what they, is what they said. Barracks from paladin. I assume a stable follow up is gonna happen. They did move his fish there. So Yo will finish off these two fishing ships and then he will find this fish as well very shortly. Wipe your in-game sense is 69%. Absolutely. Two on stone. Leary wants to go camel archer by the looks of it. 
Blacksmith for heart. Don't see any sign of another building yet. Triple, ooh, triple dark from this angle. Very odd. Lux is going for double dock galleys himself. But yeah, I mean, Yo is going to be, uh, Hard is going to be out of fish again soon. But it's actually made the best out of a really bad situation here, Hard has. So got to give credit for that. Yeah, I think the, the setup of the both teams so far looks definitely heavily in favor of uh, White Wolf Palace. Like, maybe could go and drop a castle here, for example, as well, and just play full conquistador down the down the right side. On stone, as expected. And Yo will now move on to the next dock of Leary. Nikov is sending a fire ship, though, so he might be able to buy some time to make sure Leary doesn't lose his fish right off the bat. Castle age, 50% on the way for Hera, 10% on Leary, 30% on Vivi. 30% on Paladin as well, so competitive uptimes for all of them. WWP stands for White Wolf Palace. Yeah, it's just gonna go for fish though. It's the right move by Yo. And probably queue up some defensive units himself. A fire gal is on the way. He's just gonna try and snipe fish from. Uh, oh, we didn't get it. From Leary. But 10% faster moving ships with the Berbers. What does Yo stands for? It stands for Yo. Did I play a game today? Or did I end up casting all day? Only one? Turks game. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess hard. True. So you play one, we got to play one game today. Nikov still has real nice fail. Nikov is in a really good spot economically here himself. And Hart is gonna win water on the bottom side. But the issue for them is that the only one with fish on the bottom side is Lithuanians and Lix. And he's also killing Hart's fish at the same time. So Hart is pretty much investing heavily on water in order to trade himself for one player of White Wolf Palace. For Hart to hit the water on the other side, he has to go all across the map. Is, wait, is this, is this dude firing back? No, now he finally started firing back. Like, Hart is investing so heavily in water, and he's also the one who is the most exposed to enemy units. Triple stable! From a Paladin here. Are we going to see the Hyper today? Unlikely. Cast up from Lyrus, so he's going Cam Larchers, Sea Workshop, and three Stable Knights with plus two. And Hart even deleted the wall to go for the hunt. Let's see what he sees there. He sees the market, he sees the hunt. He should see the deer now being shot. Is it a ram? Is it gonna be a ram? It should be a ram in my opinion. Looks like he's saving for a mangonel, but I think it should be a ram. Oh, now he queues up the ram. Even doing a TC here. Marlins is so insane with this. It can afford everything. Is Yo going uh, Mangura here, or is he just booming? Where's Yo's villagers? Is this all Yo has? And this? Oh, he's going Mangura, actually. Two cameras is out with, without fletching even. This is looking bad for AM, I must say. Two TC and castle up from Nikolo. So Conquistadors will definitely be doing some work. Conquistadors from Vivi as well on the on the top side here. I just don't see how Hart doesn't take a ton of damage here. Castle drop from Yo as well in the face. You prefer Persians or Malians in one one nomad? Hmm. I'm not sure. I think it's a 50-50 matchup, honestly. One villager down, castle's coming up. Another villager should go down. It's on the gold as well. There's no there's this fletching. He could have just sat on the TC and killed units at this point. 
Not pod canaro in yet for Leary. Still not in the, in the queue. There with uh, two TCs himself. Well, Heart is just playing Nomad. So it's what the name is called. It's so over. It looks very, very bad for AM, must be said. And here it is just. Ooh! It's just Conk War here, right? Nico with Conks and Vivi with Conks. Just running in. What a mad lad, this guy. He's gonna get so much value with this as well, right? It's so annoying for Nico. That these four Kongs just gets in and gets kills. And now he has to chase them with his own Kongs. And this eco here is all exposed. It's just so annoying. Conquistors are the worst, man. Honestly, I, I'm not surprised if this is a quick GG here from AM. There's just so much damage being done to them left and right. And Hearts has so many galleys here. Just so much damage. So much annoyance. That's the term. TC from Heart is gone. He did do another one here. There's a castle and there's Camelotches to defend. Obviously, Camelotches will do nice against uh, Mengrai coming as well. But uh, it's it's still it's heavy pressure. This TC is very likely to go down to the ramps. Because Leary has no counter to the ramps here. Four, five, seventeen fishing ships in the middle here for, for Paladin. Like I said, he's having the time of his life. TC for here. What is Hero doing here? Is he just booming? 3 TC with a stable, 4 TC coming up. It's picking up relics. No sign of relics yet. Four ramps on the way. It's gonna be only one Mangadai. So Yo is just focusing on his boom. Castle was just to put pressure and now it's just booming. Which is probably the right decision as well. Four rams, 15 knights. This TC is gone. <laughs> Game was over once it shows TC spots. I wouldn't agree with that. But you cannot deny that uh, White Wolf Palace certainly had very nice TC locations. Yeah, losing some cam launches and some HP there and the TC as four ramps. Doesn't matter even if you were Persians, these this TC is gone. I think they're gonna call GG very soon actually. Vivi being annoying here still, village accounts 55 to 60. The white wolf has are dominating village accounts as well. Only Hera has a good, really good village account. Starting to mix in some knights now though. But yeah, TC is gone. Leary will lose half of his economy. And the issue is that once Leary is struggling and don't have too many cam launchers, that's when Yo enters the game with all his Mangrai. Because like Yo is freely booming right now. He's only made one Mangrai. And he's just free booming. He will be He will be making Mangadai soon. As the Rams, they just continue, right? Who's next? Who's next? Now like he has taken out the TZ from Heart. He's taken out the TZ from Leary, killed a lot of ills from both of them. And now he's gonna put a lot of damage onto Hera. Probably not a lot of damage, but he will slow down and court force idle time, etc. etc. All which just buys time for for Yo to get to Imperial Age at this point. And Vivi is also making a push on uh, on Nikov here. There's Bloodlands for Vivi and plus two, while Nikov has zero upgrades on his Conquistors. They, and there's also no fletching, right? So they, they tickle the Conquistors. Vivi is also dominating Nikov, so Tempo and AM are just losing on every angle right now. This looks like a second castle drop from Yo, who has 1100 wood uh, stone in the bank. He's also just taking this fight, right? He doesn't care. The, oh, that castle. That castle is gonna be a big one. He's even winning the fight under the town centers. He doesn't give a shit. And there's a castle here. I, this is the GG, right? Nico is getting wrecked. Hera is getting wrecked. Lear is getting wrecked. Everyone's getting wrecked. Arch is trying to recover somewhat here, but he cannot really do too much, right? The only thing he could do at this point would be slinging. Actually... Yeah, they just call it. It's super over. That was a very dominating game from uh, White Wolf Palace. They really dominated that one.
All right, good stuff. That was uh, yeah, just in time. So I can go and train with uh, with Tato indeed. Hmm, that was a weird one, in many ways. The dark hair certainly made it very awkward for Hart, though. And also the awkwardness here is actually there might be some truth to the TC placements, not necessarily from White Wolf Palace, but from AM, right? It's unfortunate that they're the guy who commits full on water is the one who's also the most exposed to the enemies. And that makes it all very awkward. All right, White Wolf Palace winning the thousand dollar show match. Sixty-nine units killed. What a way to end it from Paladin, eh? GL versus Suomi win. We actually have a show match against Suomi coming up. Uh, I think it's a one thousand six hundred dollar show match or five hundred fifteen hundred dollars or something coming up. Uh, I would say within two weeks. I also have a show match against Yo coming up. And I have a show match against Arena Clown coming up. That's all I can remember right now. I feel like there is one more show match in there, but I don't remember it. 